How can you invest wisely during a recession? The answer might surprise you. As we navigate the turbulent waters of an economic downturn, it's crucial to establish a well-thought-out game plan for your investment portfolio. This isn't about getting rich quick. It's about protecting your wealth and setting yourself up for success in the long run. Remember the old adage, cash is king. Well, it rings especially true during a recession. When companies are retrenching and job losses are on the rise, having a solid cash reserve acts as a safety net. Now, don't get this twisted. This does not mean selling off investments haphazardly to hoard cash. That's a risky move. Instead, consider shifting into investments that are likely to weather a recession, like money market mutual funds. So, while cash is essential, it's not the only strategy. Let's delve deeper into the other strategies. Ever heard of defensive stocks? They can be your shield during a recession. Defensive stocks are those steadfast names in non-cyclical sectors like utilities and consumer staples. Unlike their cyclical counterparts, which ride the highs and lows of economic cycles, these stocks remain fairly insulated. This is because the companies they represent deal in essential goods and services. Think electricity, food and shelter. No matter how the economy is faring, people will always need to eat, keep the lights on and put a roof over their heads. In bad economic times, the sales of consumer staples like food, beverages and household products continue to remain steady. The demand for utilities also remains resilient. In essence, defensive stocks can act like an economic umbrella, offering some protection for your portfolio when the financial weather turns stormy. Even in the worst economic climates, people still need to eat and pay for utilities. That's why defensive stocks can be a smart move. Dollar cost averaging may sound complex, but it's a simple strategy that can pay off during a recession. This strategy involves consistently investing a fixed amount into a particular asset, regardless of its current price. What's interesting about this approach is that it inherently buys more shares when prices are low and fewer when prices are high, which helps to lower the average cost per share over time. Now, why is this especially beneficial during a recession, you might ask? Well, during economic downturns, asset prices tend to drop, meaning your fixed investment can purchase more shares. This positions you to potentially reap significant returns when the market eventually recovers. Whether you're investing new money or setting your dividends to automatically reinvest, dollar cost averaging can be a practical approach to navigate the market's ebb and flow. So don't be daunted by market downturns. Dollar cost averaging is a strategic way to make the most out of market downturns, during a recession, quality matters more than ever, and this applies to your investments too. It's about finding those diamonds in the rough, those assets that hold their value and even thrive when the economic climate turns sour. Quality assets are typically characterized by low beta, high return on investments and low leverage. These are the hallmarks of investments that can weather the storm. Low beta investments are less volatile and therefore less risky. High return investments, on the other hand, bring in more income, buffering your portfolio against losses. Low leverage companies are less burdened by debt, meaning they're in a stronger position to survive economic downturns. They're often referred to as all weather businesses because they don't depend on economic growth to thrive or survive. A classic example is companies with high recurring revenue, such as those with subscription based sales models. These businesses are less sensitive to economic downturns because their income is more predictable and stable. On the flip side, it's wise to avoid companies with high debt loads during a recession. These firms could struggle to service their debt if revenues and cash flows decline. They could also face difficulties refinancing debt at maturity if credit conditions tighten and lending standards become stricter. Now, let's talk about growth stocks. While they can be attractive during boom times with their promise of high returns, they're typically not your best bet during a recession. These stocks, particularly those tied to high growth prospects but not profitable, tend to underperform during economic downturns. Instead, consider shifting your focus to income-producing investments and dividend-paying stocks. These investments can provide a steady flow of income, which is particularly valuable when the economy is on shaky ground. Dividend stocks represent companies that are financially stable enough to distribute profits back to shareholders. This stability can be a safe harbour in the stormy seas of a recession. Remember, investing wisely during a recession is about quality, not quantity, and dividends can provide a steady income stream even in tough times.